Okay, let's say you have an assignment where you have to look up case law research. You have to look up some cases on a certain legal issue. So here's what I would recommend for that. I would go here to library databases A to Z, and I would look for a database called Nexus Uni. And I just clicked N right there, and there it is right there. And what this is, this is an academic, kind of a college university version of a legal database called LexisNexis. So this is kind of an abbreviated version of it. Let's open this up. It does all kinds of research, but uh, it's, it's really good with case law research. So what I would do here from this page, I would click here where it says cases. And we'll leave that at federal cases for right now. We could do state cases too, but you have to do them separately. And then I would type in in this box, whatever kind of legal topic you're looking for. I'll type in search warrant. Notice I put that in quotation marks so I get that exact phrase here. And you could all dates, we could do that, or we could just say the last five years. Or you could select a custom date range too. I'll just say five years. Let's run a search here. And so there's over 10,000. These are all cases, federal cases that involve search warrants. You could limit it here uh, more if you would like. We could say court. We could go, there's different districts with federal courts. We could go, I'll go to the Ninth Circuit. That's the circuit that includes Colorado. And we'll just click there. You can see there's 2,600 cases just in the Ninth Circuit federal court. And then if you wanted to, if you wanted to narrow that down more, you could just start looking through them or you could, you could make it more specific and you could go to your timeline here and you could take this here. It's going back 2017 to 22. You could bring this up here, maybe there uh, 2021 and then we'll execute this you click OK and then there's 471 so there's still quite a few cases in here now let's go back and let's try this again with state cases so those were that's how we find federal cases this is the same thing we click on cases and then let's click state cases and it'll ask you what state you want so I'll type in Colorado and there it filled it in for me I'll do the same search, search warrant. And again, I'll just say five years. Do a search here. And there's 58 cases in Colorado. And you could, again, you could, you could go to the timeline and make that more current if you'd like. I'll take this over here, Let's say 2020 to 2022, click OK. And then we're down to 24 cases. And these are all full cases. If you want to open these up, they're, they're full cases. So uh, another thing we could do, which you might want to do for this, just to kind of complete your analysis a little bit, you could also uh, click on law reviews. So these would be legal journals that analyze legal issues. So we could look in law reviews there. Same thing, search warrant. So we can get some kind of analysis of this topic. And then I'll just leave this at just the latest here. Do a search, and these are all articles from law reviews uh, analyzing <clears throat> uh, search warrant cases. And I'll do my timeline again since there's so many. Bring this up here. And then we still have thousands, so that you can tell this is a pretty this is a big this is a big issue. So we could, you could even take your timeline again. You could do it again. You could keep going more like that and just click OK. And now you're down, still have over a thousand. So that's an introduction to how I would uh, do a paper that's asking you to look up cases, uh, case law research uh, on a certain legal issue. There you go. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye bye.